Hey everybody, welcome back to Riven episode 7. So last episode was uh, the, the very important episode 5 where we actually discovered a lot of things on the and kind of completed our ability to journey about uh, Riven. And now we're going to go back and look for missed clues, no pun intended, because we're not sure, we're unable to, we found the linking books in the uh, rotating dome, but we were unable to power them up, essentially. We don't have enough power from the geothermal thing. According to Gen's research, there is not enough power uh, to power this linking book device. So, we need to find an alternative power source of, uh, to wit, we have not seen any such thing. But we still don't really know what the power distribution system in the gold dome does, because each one of the pipes that comes off of it goes to a rotating dome on the individual islands um, but it's not powered by them so I think it's actually it's not a distributor it's a collector and we need to collect all of the power um, from the other islands somehow and send them to this one uh, there's mention of fire marbles have not found a fire marble I don't know what a fire marble is Perhaps some sort of power source. As in the Book of Atreus, uh, the, the actual novel, um, they do discuss it as a source of power, but not in detail. Well, this island I feel like I didn't explore as much as some of the others. So I'm going to come out to my vantage point here. This is where I came in, I believe. And there's another track going off this direction. Um, perhaps I can't depart that direction. I don't know. But I should be able to... Get... Oh, maybe that's, that's how I do it. Perhaps uh, I forgot that when I get in the maglev, I can flip it around. And that should give me access to that other loading dock that's on the other side. And that should lead somewhere else. Yep. Hop in. Flip it around. See that door there that we can't get to right now. There's a call button on either side. I got too excited thinking that we'd seen all there was to see. And indeed, we have not. This We haven't even... Oh, don't close, please. Auto-close. When we came in, we got off there, and we got back on there, and we left the island, and we never saw... We actually left via the staircase, and we never saw any of this rich mahogany. Wow, that is beautiful. Uh, this reminds me of the main uh, rotunda in, uh, in Mist. This is... Okay, so I'm just turning around. That's the door I came in. This is where I am now. Uh, let me throw this lever. Or lever, if that's how you prefer to say it. Oh, a mysterious golden box emerges from the water. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. That's not ominous at all. What could go wrong with getting inside a golden coffin and descending into basically molten water? Well, uh, what do you think? Shall we? So I guess let's push this button and see what happens. 
So far we've avoided death. I think we've had a good track record. What's the worst that could happen? At least that gave us a window. I mean, it could be a lot worse. This is a very deep water-filled cave, but interestingly, because of the properties of the bacteria, you could just heat yourself a bubble and keep all the water off. Maybe that's what's happened here. We did go through those weird rings in the mine car, uh, between the mine car and the paper mill um, island. We were in that little mine car just flying down the track going underwater where there was little heating rings installed to keep the water pushed back, so perhaps what we're seeing is actually the heat at the bottom and all the water is kind of floating above it, but obviously we got in here just fine. Hmm. What's this up here? There's like a little emblem above the door. Maybe it's just decoration. Can't turn to face any of these walls. Man, it must have been difficult to construct all this. It's a Nice. Whoa there. Who are you? Um, I am in a place I should not be. The Dunnier Master Stones Masons. So perhaps this is Gen's Heidi Hole. Oh, she is fleeing for her life. She even waved goodbye. This is the separate monorail. This is another monorail. So, you know, we saw those two tracks before. Definitely maglev. Look at that. Off it goes. Reporting back to her master, probably saying, so-and-so is here. I don't even know his name. He didn't even introduce himself. Actually, she didn't introduce herself. She just fled, but that's all right. So we did see the two tracks coming in, uh, but we couldn't access them, and this is why. So up this narrow staircase. Ooh. What is this? This is a spooky, spooky like big cavern with a sheer wall behind it. I wish I could look down because I have a feeling it's very deep. Yeah, pretty deep. Another broadcasting chair, perhaps? What do these do? Anything? Button? Button. Always a button. Dunny love buttons. They're like Dweemer. Uh, uh, my Jacques Cousteau now. What happens? Wow. It's a viewer. Okay. We have these five uh, stations of the eye. He called them colors, almost. I don't know if that's true, but... Lights. How do I turn this thing? I just hit the button. Okay. What if I turn all of them on? I can only turn one on at a time? Yeah, I can only have one on at a time. Oh, I have to remember which one it was, and I didn't write them all down. So Paper Island, I wrote the Golden Eye down. I wrote it down on uh, Tree Cutting Island. But I didn't write them down on all the rest. So I think I'm going to have to go back and do that. That one's on. That one's on. That one's on. 
weapons on. I think these are all powered up. Oh. Hello, buddy. You're just a beautiful creature, aren't you? This is very peaceful. Watch as the horned narwhal observes his prey. He rocks his head left and right to get a better glimpse. Thinking it's a predator, he moves on quickly. So the light, the light, it, 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 I've turned on the light at this station. So where I am right now, when I opened this, uh, the island that I'm on currently, is here. So this is me looking out where I am already. Uh, so when I, I can summon it to various places, where else should I summon it to? The only other place I've seen an underwater uh, area is where it goes to eat the people. I don't really understand this yet. Let's see what this other level does. This one has no buttons at all. Well, it does have buttons. Hello, who are you? A woman. Doing laundry. I guess that's it. Just coming in, take a basket, leave. And that's totally blank. Nothing to see. Yeah. Uh, it could be Catherine. I mean, that would make sense. Maybe she's sitting at home somewhere. So the question is, where do I want to summon the narwhal? Let's summon it to the tree cutting island because A, I wrote down that symbol. Uh, the original one where, where the uh, fish head and all that kind of clever stuff was. Um, which. This eye. Why is it this eye? It should be a different one. So that's the one it's currently on, which is here, right? Yeah, that's here. And he comes up and he says, Howdy, you've called? Is there anything I can do for you? Although his voice really sounds more like this. Is there anything I can do for you? No? Well then stop calling my name. It's just how I hear him. You know, feel free to come up with your own voice. But everything turns off after you summon it. So what's the purpose? What is the purpose? You know what I still haven't done? Read this journal. So I think I'm going to pause and I'm going to read this journal. And I don't really think it's going to be applicable to whatever particular situation I'm in because it's probably just like a top level kind of overview. But let's read it and see. I probably should have done this at the very beginning. They held for more than 30 years, but the corrections I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Hmm, sounds like software development. Revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments which need to be made, but the basic corrections have been entered and should be working. Something is not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change. It's possible that I've made an error, though I've checked my entry against my prenotation and can find no discrepancy. I've not had a rest in nearly three days, so it may be that I'm just not seeing it. If the fault is with my foundational assumptions, however, perhaps after a short rest I will see something.
Success. It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it is impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks of work, and I should be free at last to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to think, to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. I've received no sign from her in all that time, I'm afraid. No, I must not assume that she... I must assume that she is all right, lest my fears undermine my efforts to bring her back. I did not create the Age of Riven, unlike my father. I have never presumed to have such power. And yet, the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I've managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable, and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world. But the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off of Riven as soon as possible. The problem now is Gen. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the islanders if he is still the man he once was. I haven't seen him in over 30 years, but history forces me to assume that he is still a threat. His myopic mission to restore the Dunny civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake, and would continue to do so were he to be once again free of the confines of Riven, or the Fifth Age, as he coldly titled it. Makes sense. The universe has been safe from his corruptive influence for the last 33 years because no one has been able to leave that age, the last linking book out of Riven having been lost in the Star Fisher upon my return to Mist. That was my intention, to maroon my father on Riven by removing all the existing links to the other worlds. And since the art of constructing books had long been lost with the fall of the Dunny, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. In effect, that is what we achieved, but the way it fell, however, was no one's ideal. Though the sting of the incident has gradually faded from my memory, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to be has never left me. At the time, it all seemed so clear. Gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue. But it was never my choice that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to pay for it. Enough. To dwell in the past is to die in the present. The situation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I've acquired in the years since that time is yet to be applied to this problem. I think I have the solution. Why did it not occur to me sooner, I do not know, unless the idea of it had been pushed out with the thought of my sons. A prison book. Many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Dunny, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I was forced to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find that I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation, quickly succeeded in creating one of these devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link. That is, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person would become trapped and the first person displaced back into the world. The technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the original text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If indeed my father has not changed, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link here back to Dunny? Trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have begun again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not at first concern me. However, tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects that I had anticipated during this initial phase of the island's readjustment. Still, in order to verify my assumptions, I decided to calculate again, incorporating the new data. The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I'd realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. I must act while I still have the time. The signs are barely visible, but there's no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent unless I can keep ahead, and that is becoming increasingly difficult to do. With every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's economy of words has yielded. But it is a dismaying process. The complexity of his problem is overwhelming. There is no end to this. The last few days have all but convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable and that, at best, I can only strive to delay it now and hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. 
Something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probability, someone has finally found my lost, link, my lost missed linking book and has freed me from this prison. I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. Hey, that's me! I am still not sure it can work. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the mere fact that it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven and yet proceed with my original intent to find Catherine has given me renewed hope. The last few days left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once Gen had been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven and risk the possibility of inadvertently releasing Gen. The deteriorated state of the gateway image makes the use of a visual signal impossible, but the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition nonetheless. By measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur on a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual could affect such an elementary change from within an age. The idea may be foolish. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an anomaly that happens as a rift between two separate systems, the star fissure... Oh. Between two system, two separate systems, the star fissure. But how or even if this fact could be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once I received the signal that they were ready to return, I would have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. However, provided my father was safely out of the way, this should take very little time. After that, assuming the island does not incur much damage in my absence... It should then be a relatively simple matter to hold it together long enough for Catherine to return to Riven and evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a signal without knowing the topography of the island may prove to be impossible, but I'm afraid there can be only one answer to the question of whether or not I should sh send my friend to Riven with a way out. The potential for failure will be greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. I'm sure my father is expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. May he not be disappointed. Well, that was a lot of information we probably could have used at the start of the game. But I actually feel okay having left it there until now. Because it's very interesting. Um, this is a, a maglev we have not been on before. There is no other door. So being that I don't know what to do with this imager yet... Uh, I will check and make sure there's nothing I missed. This is the hallway to the imager. This is the only hallway back to the elevator. And so... <clears throat> I could have just summoned the, the maglev right back. As soon as she leaves, if I push the button, does it turn her around and bring her back? Perhaps I should have tried. And I'm waiting. Sure would be nice if they put in a bathroom. Is train going to London? How do I get to London? Well, in the words of the inimitable Bilbo Baggins, I'm going on an adventure. Kinda shaky. I wanna put my hands out the window. I feel like I'd lose my hands if I put them out the window. And now the question, have I been here before? Ta-da! Well, that's a beautiful vista. Uh, oh, a box. I just love boxes. It's quite a ways up. Ah, interesting. 
This was the... Uh, so this was a separate maglev station. And now I'm back to the Jawed uh, Piranha. But why am I here? What is my purpose? I do not know. There's no creepy child. It's a plus. Okay, um, let's see. I kind of want to go around, uh, this way. Sorry, not this way. The other way. How did I get to the top? Oh, I did not... I don't think I went down this before. I think I only went up. Yeah, so you can pull the lever up and you can pull the lever down, and apparently I've only ever you know, moved it one direction. So I never realized you could go down. Which means every elevator I've ever been in is a lie. I wish I could see which, uh, you know, I know what this one is. This one is the, uh, I wrote down this I when I clicked the button, but uh, now the alarm goes off. <clears throat> As per usual, I'm very cross that I'm back. Yeah, and I don't really have any reason to go in here. Unless I've missed something. But I don't know what I could have missed. The only thing it's telling me is... It's just an observation post to give you a look down so you know what's going on below. Yeah. Just so you can observe. Toodles. Into the water you go. <clears throat> well, that was a waste of time. <clears throat> So the only thing here that's left is the lever panel, which we didn't figure out before. So I'm thinking we play with that a bit. See if we can determine what it does, because that was a pretty big mystery, I would say. Uh, best way to get there would be around and down. Can you imagine how confused I would have been if I had taken that maglev the first time? Although to be fair, I'm confused now as I don't have a really strong purpose, I'm just sort of wandering. Uh, gonna go check out those levers, but I don't really know that I understand the purpose. Uh, I need to be... See, what is this thing? What is this thing? I don't know. Everything else has such a clear purpose in this game. And the baby! I've got to figure out what's going on with the baby.
Step one is to apparently push a submarine off a cliff. And then after you push the submarine off the cliff, you have to go get in the submarine. Uh, and how again was that done? Man, it's been so long, guys. It's like two minutes ago. Ah, uh, yes. I do sort of recall up the ladder. Back through here. There's no one in there. Into the grate. It's the greatest grate. I'll just stick my hand in the poo here. Pull out the secret lever. This is back to the creepy cave, and I don't understand this one either. Are there any animals that I have not seen? Let's try this again. I have not seen that creature. I have not seen that creature. I have seen that creature. I've not seen that creature. Uh, I have seen that creature now. I saw that frog. Um, not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. Not, I have not seen a crabby lobster type thing. I've, I mean, I guess I've seen little, like, mothy bugs. Definitely have not seen a bat. Uh, I have not seen fish shaped like that. I've not seen a kangaroo. Have seen that guy. Have not seen a bunny rabbit. Have not seen that thingy. Have seen that thingy. Uh, no. Don't believe I've seen that one. Not that one either. No. 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 Uh, I have seen a bird. Saw a hawk. I don't know if that really counts. Have seen a scarab. Oh boy. Did it freeze? No. Did it work? No, that was weird. Oh, I must have done it in the wrong order or, or selected one that was not real. One, two, three, four. Let's try this guy. Did it do it? Oh, it did it. It was the order. Crazy. It's covered in water. Oh, now it's like running around the room. What 
is it dispensing? No. No. Where does that go? Is that the end of the game? Just because I've seen some animals? No. Okay, well. We're now 45 minutes into this episode, so tune in next time where it very well may be only two seconds. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, have a good night.